Hello, all the way again, Nuggets of Wisdom coming at you. Seven D's of a change. The D today is direction. Let's get it. Welcome back. Why not leave? Please like, share, hit the notification bell for new content. Please smash that subscription button, share, 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 so other folks can look at the series content. Yeah, I've been talking about these seven Ds of change, and this one, this is number five, direction. What is direction? It's an instruction how to reach a, des a destination on about to do something. And I don't want you to just look at this word of basically, only what do you mean by direction? I don't have the blueprint to everything I need to do. Let me tell you something. Direction simply means very simple. I used to be this particular way. I'm no longer this way anymore. This is now the direction I'm taking. I'm not going to be in the direction of foolishness anymore, but I'm going to go to the direction of wisdom. I'm not going to be in the direction of being devalued anymore, but I'm going to go the direction of being valued. You got to have a direction in your mind that directs your path daily, that helps you to move forward. The question that a lot of us today have no direction of where we need to go. Do you imagine getting on a plane and say, I'm flying, you, you know, I, I, I need a ticket, but I'm going to no destination. That means you're going nowhere, so you will, you end up nowhere. So that is the question. We gotta have some directions of what we're gonna do. We may not have it all the time, and we may not have all the all our um, all our steps or the way we need to. But we need to have some kind of direction. What's gonna be my end game? For some people's finances, for some people's relationships. For some people, they want you know they want to take care of their physical body or take care of their health. You gotta have some kind of direction, and that direction actually propels you to a different to a different um, mindset. I'll give you a story. In my case, for a very long time, every other person's direction was my direction. As long as they were happy, as long as they can get along to get along, yes, let's go the direction. It doesn't have to work for all of them. It doesn't matter what it means. It doesn't matter maybe it's working. As long as they are happy, their direction became my direction. And I had to get to a point in my life that I questioned everything. So now, I don't go in anybody's direction. First in the direction I'm going in, how does this actually work for me? And that's not a selfish move. Please, don't let anybody tell you you're selfish. If you're doing things to protect yourself, if you're doing things to make you worthy, if you're doing things to make your life better, and you're going in a different direction, please do so. Do not let folks guilt you and say, oh, you think you're something now? No. This is seven days to a change. You want a long lasting change, you gotta have a direction. You're not gonna wake up one day and just magically get there. Ha! So that's the reason why I want my, my brothers to understand a problem to change, yeah, you can disconstruct. Now I have to be directed for where I need to go. What is it? Why am I doing what I'm doing? I have sat down in many cases, I have there's some directions and sometimes mentally the emotion that you do you just have some directions. I became I don't hang around places that no longer serve me. That was a mental direction I have to switch in my mind. I can't sit around a lot of foolish talk that means no 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 that has no meaning. That's a direction in the, how I move. So, your friends, your family will know that you're changing direction in how you move. 
we no longer see you anymore. You no longer hang out with anymore. That's it. You're changing, you're changing your direction. So instead of them hanging around, smoking weed, do whatever you need to do, you change your direction to the point that that is no longer working. So, for you to have a, a solid direction, you have the two words that came to mind. Number one, resolve. Resolve something means I will never give up on me, regardless of what may happen. Regardless of what may happen. That is what's going to keep you on your direction of where you are going. You cannot just live life casually. Somebody said something the other day, if you live if you live life casually, you become a casualty. Everything has to be intentional. So you have to live a life of resolve that you will never give up on you. The next word is fierce. It's all on the direction. When we look at people that play sports, you will say, that boy is a beast. That girl is an animal. We can give them, they're bad, they do this. And I'm talking to you so-called, I'm easy going, I don't want to push the envelope, it's too much, blah, blah, blah. My brothers, my sisters, for you to do a radical change after a after you've after there's been a lot of you've been blowed, things have happened to you, life has really beaten you up, you gotta be fierce, man. You gotta be fierce. Let me look at it. I like I like the words a lot. I like the words. So I want to look at very quickly. Very quickly. What's the difference? What's what's mean of fierce? Let me get it from the dictionary. So that means I'm going to type it up very quickly here. Uh, fierce. One second. E R C E. Okay, I like I love this. You see, that's why you should you should do words sometimes. I, I love words. It's just how I roll. He said, "Fear simply means having or displaying an intense or ferocious aggressiveness. Aggressiveness to go by a direction, you gotta be aggressive. Nobody's handing you anything to you. Nobody's giving you anything." You have to display a level of intensity that is actually obscene. It's crazy. You have to go down in your belly and fight for the direction of where you're going. Because the masses are going to move you to another direction. And you need to go the opposite direction. And for you to be able to do that, you have to have you have to be ferocious in doing it. You have to be aggressive moving it forward. And also, you need to have a mantra. What do you live by? What do you understand? Let me tell you, man. I am never going to, I'm going to do everything in my power to be the best. Whatever it takes. Because I've done it for everybody. I am no longer shortchanging myself. Even if I feel tired, sometimes let me to be honest, I don't feel like doing something sometimes. But I remember the promise I made to myself. You gotta have a mantra. You have to, which, which people call in the in the in the entertainer world, a little bit of an alter ego to stand on your direction. It's not gonna just drop on your lap because everybody is forcing you away from your own direction. 
I want you to really understand this. I want you to get it. You are fighting every day for you not be pulled in the wrong direction. So you have to be fierce. You have to have res resolve. You have to have a daily mantra. You have to fight ferociously because nobody is handing it over to you. Direction. All the way again, man. Nuggets of wisdom. God bless you.